Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda. Today I am going to be planting the onion sets that I purchased from the Family Dollar. And I'm also going to be replanting some radishes that uh, has not really done anything. So I am going to be sowing some more seeds because we still have time to get some radishes. But first, there is an asparagus that I'm going to harvest. Okay, so first I'm going to give it a nice rinse off. I think that should be good enough. Now this is a nice size. This is like the ones at the store. Okay, so let's give it a taste. Yeah, you cannot beat this. It's delicious. I'll be back. Okay, this is the bed that I'm going to be planting some of these onions in. And first, I'm going to just work this soil up just a little bit. I think we can take these out now. I don't think we're going to be needing those for... A while. I could be wrong. Okay, so we've got the soil worked up. I'm going to add some bone meal. And this is some uh, burpee organic bone meal so work it in a little I want to go ahead and moisten my soil my onions in. These are the onion sets that I purchased from the Family Dollar Store. And this is the root. The, the bottom part, you can see that's the root and then you see that pointy part. That is the top. That's where your onion uh, green are going to grow out. So we're gonna, that's where the green onions is gonna grow out. Your top right here will grow out of here. And then this is what will go into the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put it in there. You do not wanna put it in too deep. And you wanna place them far enough apart where you'll get a nice size onion. You don't want them um, right up on each other. These are what you want to be planting now, unless you have already planted your seeds and you have gotten some uh, onion uh, slip, then you can plant those, the onion starts, but you don't want to uh, be starting seeds right now because I think that the window for that is uh, came and gone. research for your area but I think that it is too late to plant onion seeds now. We started onion from seeds. So not plan on getting the onion bottoms unless you're just growing them for the top. 
Heine chasing the girls. Some of these are very small, but they are supposed to be 80, and I'm not counting them. That one's a nice size. That one's nice. I'm not putting them in a row or anything. If something's hard, I'm going to use this. A stick. Get that out. And the small ones too. Some of these already have the uh, green onions coming out of the top. So that's a good sign. One thing about these onions, they were uh, all solid. I did not feel not a single um, hollow onion in here. So that is good. And I think that I'm gonna be able to fill this bed up with this package. And I, did, I still have another package that I need to go ahead and get planted so one of these beds probably gonna be the one some of these are very small Okay, so I don't want to crowd them in, but I can look back and see some spots that I can still put another one where I'll still be able to have some uh, nice-sized onions. So I will go back and fill in those spaces. in the way I just get it out and I can put one right there look like everything else is kind of filled out so I got a few left so I'm just gonna keep those and I'll place them somewhere else and put them in between some plants to uh, control the pest in my bed Another sprinkle. And our onions are planted, so let's plant some radishes. Okay, so right here in this bed, this is where I planted some daikon radish, some red arrow, and some purple plum radishes. And as you can see, they are very, very skimpy over here. So I am just going to um, put a few more seeds in. I'm not going to disturb the ones that we have that are growing, but. We want a full bed of radishes, so I am going, uh oh I said I wasn't going to disturb it, but okay, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Seems like my soil got compacted some sort of way. I'm just going to fluff my soil. I'm going to add some bone meal. I'm 
work it in a little. This poor radish here is just catching it. So the ones that were uh, trying to come up and did not come up, they just getting dished up. So we're gonna put some more seeds in there. And the ones that we're gonna put in are some more of the uh, purple plum. I'm just gonna make a couple of rows. Try not to put them too thick because I'm not going back and thin them out. Those seeds are small. I could have kind of threw them on top, but I think that's what I did last time. So I just decided to do it just a little bit different this time. Just put a little bit more soil on the top of them. So I really was hoping I had some more daikon radish, but I do not. But I do have these uh, French breakfast. And it's, these seeds have gotten pretty old. So um, I got a lot of them. I don't know if these seeds are that good because they have not done well this season. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna sprinkle some in. I don't know to get them too deep. I'm gonna sprinkle them over here where I had already sprinkled some daikon radish. Let's see if, if I can feel underneath the soil to see it. I don't feel anything underneath there, but these are dye colored radishes. So I'm going to water them in, but hopefully soon we'll be getting some radishes. Yeah, I used to not even like radishes, but now I really enjoy them. Okay, I'm just going to I'm going to wash the seeds away. Now, hopefully, we'll be getting some radishes really soon. If you have not planted your radishes, you still have time. Radishes usually take uh, about 30 days, so they are one of those crops that is a quick, quick crop, and you can uh, get uh, gratifications very soon. I want you to see the blossoms on this peach tree. They are very beautiful. Apple trees are the last ones to start putting on blossoms. That is in my yard anyway. All the other trees have started to bloom, but the apple tree is the only one that has just started. And then I have one apple tree that has not started and I'm afraid that it may not be going to do anything. This is my nectarine tree and it is looking beautiful. So I hope that we are able to get some uh, fruit this season. Okay, and look at the blueberry bushes. They are putting on some beautiful blooms also. So looks like we're gonna be getting blueberries this season. And the raised beds have slowly begun to come to this area. That is one down and two to go. This is the space I chose to put the other raised bed. I started to put it over near the fence over there, but it would be right behind another raised bed. And I didn't want anything to be able to get in there and hide behind those beds. So I changed and put it here. I really need to get under here and harvest the Brussels sprouts. And the broccoli is ready to be harvested again. These are the broccolini that we've been harvesting and they are delicious. We will wait until the next video and we'll harvest these. So I hope that you all have enjoyed the video and that you'll give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed. And go ahead and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.